Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about some important definitions and concepts of C. So first is address of operator. This operator tells the memory address of any particular variable. You might have used address of operator in scanf statement. We can also use uh, address of operator in case of pointer to identify address of a particular variable. Next is array. An array is a group of related data items that share a common name. An array is basically a user defined data type that is used to hold several variables of same data type. All the members of an array are stored in consecutive memory locations. The number of variables which an array can hold is called the size of the array. There are three types of arrays are available in C. First is 1D array, second is 2D array, and third is 3D array. Next is associativity. The operator of the same precedence are evaluated either from left to right or right to left, depending on the level. This is known as the associativity property of an operator. This associativity is directly connected with a precedence. Binary files. Contents are stored as 1 and 0 in case of binary file. It occupies very less, less space as compared to text file. It is very difficult to view and modify binary files as compared to the text file. Uh, we can use these kind of files uh, while we are using the concept of file handling in C. Binary operator. Binary operators are those which use two operate operands in an expression. For example, plus, minus, multiply, etc. Break. It is a keyword. We often come across the situation where we want to jump out of a loop instantly without waiting to get back to the condition test. The keyword break allows us to do so. So we can use break in uh, loops as well as in switch statement. Now, what is C programming language? The C programming language which is often called C is a general purpose procedural programming language developed in the early 1970s by the Dennis Ritchie. Call by address. It is related to function. In this mechanism, the address of the actual arguments are passed to the function. Therefore, if any change occurs in the values of formal arguments, that change also gets reflected in the actual arguments. Call by address is accomplished using pointers. Next is call by value. It is also related to function. In this mechanism, the parameters are passed directly. That is, we pass the values of the variable to the called function. If we change the values of the formal arguments, no change occurs in the actual arguments. This is because the copies of the actual arguments are passed to the formal arguments and actual and formal both occupies separate memory locations. Case sensitive. Case sensitive is a term in which lowercase and uppercase characters are treated differently. So C is case sensitive. Uh, then uh, you can say HTML is case insensitive language. Conditional operator. The conditional operator question mark and colon are sometimes called ternary operators since they take three arguments. This operator works similar to the conditional statement that, that is if else. But remember that if else are keywords not operator. Constant. A constant is a quantity that doesn't change during execution of the program. This quantity can be stored at a location in the memory of the computer. There are four types of constants available in C integer constant, real constant, character constants, and string constants. Continue. It is a keyword. In some conditions, we, we want to take the control to the beginning of the loop by passing the statements inside the loop, which have not yet been executed. The keyword continue allows us to do so. Data types. Data types are used to identify the types of data which we want to store in variables. There are two types of data types, primary and secondary. These are my information. You can uh, follow these information uh, to learn about various programming languages. 
in this information uh, this uh, tech image is important because it is an android app you can download this app on your mobile phones so that you can understand the various uh, uh, technologies like c c plus plus java etc uh, you can also follow my youtube channel uh, and in this youtube channel various uh, programming related uh, videos are available thank you for watching this video